Hello and welcome to Math 202 Calculus 2. These videos are produced out of the Mathematics Department at Grand Valley State University by faculty members in the department. As you're beginning the course, I just wanted to give a brief rundown as to how these videos are structured, how to get the most out of them, and how to ask for help as you're watching. These videos are sometimes called screencasts because a screencast is what you get when you make a video of action taking place on a computer screen, and that is how all the videos for this course are made. Each of these videos pertains to a section out of the book Active Calculus by Matt Balkins. Every video is numbered with three digits. The first of those digits refers to the chapter of the book under discussion, and the second is the section number. The third digit tells which lecture in the series it is for that chapter and section. For example, screencast 6.5.3 is the third screencast made for section 6.5 in Active Calculus, which is on improper integrals. Each section in Active Calculus will have between 2 and 10 videos made for it. The first video is always a quick recap of the main points of the section, and all subsequent videos are expansions on the content in the book. These videos do not replace the textbook. They are here to give summaries, additional examples, or alternative insights or explanations. You'll still need to read your textbook. The main thing you need to know about these screencasts is that they are intended to show you how expert problem solvers think and make decisions about problems as they are being solved. As you listen to us think out loud as we're solving problems, try to follow not only the math, but also the thinking process and adopt that thinking process as your own. Our hope is that you'll become a more effective problem solver by modeling the processes that you see and hear. To get the most out of these videos, we suggest doing the following. First of all, be sure to pause and replay any section of a video that doesn't make sense. Since the screencasts are recorded, you can do this as often as you want. Second, we encourage you sometimes to pause the video and work ahead on a problem or answer a question that's been posed. Sometimes we'll include short multiple choice questions where we'll ask you explicitly to do this, but even if you aren't instructed to do so, practicing working ahead on a problem that's being solved is often a good way to develop your own skills, and you'll get instant feedback once you hit play. The main thing is to be active as you watch and not just a passive viewer. Third, we encourage you to watch these videos in a way that makes sense for you. If your schedule only permits you to watch 10 minutes at a time, or if you need frequent breaks, feel free to take them. Or if you need to see all of them at once, then carve out time to watch them back to back. Watch them with friends if this helps, or watch them by yourself if you need the quiet. You can even watch them collaboratively online using a Google Hangout if you want. The screencasts are done so that you can adapt them to your schedule and your way of learning. Finally, here's a word about getting help. You may be worried that you can't ask questions while you're watching a video like you can in a live lecture. But in fact, not only can you ask questions, you'll have several options for asking questions that you don't have during a live lecture. While you're watching a video, if you have a question about something, first of all, try the best that you can to resolve the question yourself. You can often use technology or web searches to find information you need to help get past a sticking point. But if you do this and you're still stuck, there are several ways to get help. If your instructor has set up a discussion board, go post your question there. Here's a web page with some helpful hints on how to ask a question effectively on a discussion board. You can also pause the video and call or email a friend or email your instructor. You can also bring questions to your instructor's office hours. In short, because the videos are on your schedule, you have many more channels for getting help than you would in a live in-class lecture, so we encourage you to take a both-and approach and use as many channels as you can. So welcome to Math 202. Let's get started.